And Honorable Senator, the second preliminary objection raised by the Council for the Deputy President was that the following documents which were submitted by the National Assembly on Monday the 14th of October 2024 were not part of the bundle of documents of the National Assembly that was served on the Deputy President on Wednesday the 9th of October 2024. These are an affidavit sworn by Mr. Peterson Jomo Mushira and B, the document of the National Assembly marked as Volume 8A, Responses from Various Government Agencies. Council for the Deputy President stated that these documents prejudiced the Deputy President's case and amounted to a trial by ambush by the National Assembly. Council urged the Senate to bar the introduction of these two documents as they constitute new evidence in terms of Rule 20 of Part 1 of the Second Schedule to the Senate Standing Orders. Council for the National Assembly opposed the preliminary objection raised by the Council for the Deputy President. Honorable Senators, ladies and gentlemen, Rule 20 of Part 1 of the Second Schedule to the Senate Standing Orders provides, and I quote, in presenting its evidence, the Assembly shall not introduce any new evidence that was not part of the allegations against the President by the National Assembly as forwarded by the Speaker of the National Assembly to the Speaker of the Senate. As I indicated in my earlier communication, by a letter dated 8th of October 2024, I received a bundle of documents and records of proceedings in the National Assembly in this matter. Thereafter, on the 9th of October 2024, pursuant to Rule 6 and 7 of Part 1 of the Second Schedule to the Senate Standing Orders, the Office of the Clerk of the Senate sent invitations to appear to both parties. The parties were required, amongst other things, to specify any other evidence to be relied on this matter. I will repeat that. The parties were required, amongst other things, to specify any other evidence to be relied on in this matter. In response to this invitation, on Monday 14th of October 2024, the National Assembly filed further documentation. Having analyzed the documentation submitted again as the grounds for the proposed impeachment, I find that the documents objected to constitute evidence in support of the allegations already made in the impeachment motion as received from the National Assembly. It is noteworthy that the parties were instructed when sending responses to indicate any other evidence to be relied on. Accordingly, the documents we refer, refer to do not constitute new evidence, but form evidence in support of an allegation which was already made. This, that is why Rules 6 and 7 of the Rules of Procedure permit the Senate to receive witness statements, list of witnesses to be, to be invited by any of, and any other evidence to buttress an allegation already made. What is not allowed is to introduce new allegations or to introduce any evidence that is extraneous to the allegations made in an impeachment motion. In the, in the event, it is my considered view that the affidavit and document marked as Volume 8A being referred to fall within the permissible documents of our rules or procedure. I therefore rule that the objection is hereby dismissed. Now, honorable senators, having dispensed with the